things are happening for the Virginia Museum of Contemporary Art. Yesterday, they announced they're planning to move to Virginia Wesleyan University, but that's not all. The museum is also planning to launch a digital guide on a major app. Here to tell us more about it, we have director and CEO Gary Ryan. Gary, thank you so much for being here today. Well, thank you so much for having me. A lot's going on for Virginia Mocha, huh? Oh, yes, always. <laughs> so we've got the move coming up, but we're also talking about this app as well. We've got to get into Bloomberg Connect. So tell me about that and what people need to know. Well, Bloomberg Connects is a free app, which is a digital guide to a whole host of cultural institutions around the globe. It was fully funded by Michael Bloomberg, the famed ph philanthropist, because he wanted to make sure that everyone had access to arts and culture, even if you couldn't get to a museum. So the content is really deep, mm -hmm. and it helps you prepare for your um, visit, or it if you can't make it to the museum, you can have a virtual visit with the museum. So this is a great opportunity to just kind of bring art to you, essentially, with this app. And, you know, since we're talking about uh, that accessibility there, we're anticipating this move. So that's going to be really great for folks that maybe are down by the ocean front and, you know, perhaps can uh, maybe access the app a little bit better than they can get to Virginia Wesleyan, for example. Perhaps, yeah. perhaps. It is all about access. Yeah, absolutely. It is all about access. Now, That's is, one of our core values. Absolutely. So the move is coming up. Uh, when exactly? Do we have things pinpointed down or that's kind of TBD? Uh, that is TBD. That's TBD, okay. There's a lot of work. We, the big step is that we let everybody know about it yesterday yeah. and there's a lot of work to be done. There was a lot of work getting up to yesterday. We took years in thinking about this and, and looking at our strategic options and understanding how can we best serve our community for the next 50 years, and now it's going to take time to actually bring that to life. Absolutely. So in the meantime, you download the app. Yes, ma'am. There you go. Yep. You download the app. You go into the App Store. You look up Bloomberg Connects, okay. and you load it on your phone. It's super easy. Awesome. And then you'll see a search bar, and you just put in Virginia, and you'll notice only two cultural institutions are listed in Virginia. Oh, wow. And we are the only arts institution. Okay. And the other cultural institution is Monticello. Oh, really? So, yes, but you'll also notice on the home screen when you're scrolling through it, you're going to see the American Ballet Theater. You're going to wow. see the Metropolitan Museum of Art. You're going to see the Guggenheim. In fact, I actually used the app when I was at the Guggenheim earlier this year because I didn't want to wait in line to get the headsets. Yeah, yeah. And I listened to the audio tour on my phone as I was walking around the exhibition, and it's fantastic. So it's like a million apps kind of in one app for art lovers. Well, it's all of the cultural institutions in one place. One place. And so if, you know, I was just talking to Eugene and he's going to Birmingham. Yeah. And yeah. so we were looking up art things that he could do in Birmingham and arts organizations that he could he could go and see there. And so it's really wonderful. Fantastic. So again, that app is Bloomberg Connects, but make sure you look up Virginia Mocha and download everything you need from there. So we have to ask now at the museum, current exhibition, tell us all about it. It's called the Collector's Edition and it's fantastic. Mm. We um, have, uh, a number of, believe it or not, there are so many collectors yeah. of contemporary art in our region. And that was one of the reasons why we wanted to get to know them and find out what was in their collections. And so we have, collect, we have works of art from um, collectors that started collecting over the past couple of years and others that have been collecting for generations. And it's a fantastic peek into how they, what they appreciate about art and kind of why they choose the art that they've chosen to collect. Some is in honor of their wife. Others is thematic. It's just, it's really fantastic. And there are tons of stories yeah. and a lot of great art. Love that. You can see the personalities almost as you're talking. You can Absolutely. How, yeah. And then actually we name the collectors on the wall oh, and then cool. show their art right next to it. Love that. It's fantastic. How long do people have to see that one? Oh, it's up for a while. You've got a while. It's a great place to bring people over the holidays. We're going to be up through the end of the year. So if you have guests in town, it's a great fun um, fun um, activity and in fact when it is super hot this weekend come on to the museum it's a great place to spend some time nice and of course it's a lot of information there for Virginia Mocha but you can download the app and keep up with things there also uh, your website too as well can you give us that yes it's www.virginiamocha.org and it has everything that you need oh. right there Busy season at Virginia Mocha. Gary, thank you so much for being thank here. You we so got to have you back and keep well, us updated on everything. Please, I'd on. love to come back. Absolutely. All we right. appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back.